Hi, is it on? Well, this is Anna, by the way, refreshing. I'm Yoni. We both founded Ogi two years ago. And there's no better way to tell you the Ogi story than to start at the beginning, which was the Anna case. Two years ago, Anna started to limp. At first, it was a very slight limp. We didn't really pay much attention. It came and went. But after two months, she just couldn't walk anymore. Crutches, of course, didn't work. So we took her to CTs and scans, and they found out she has hip dysplasia, which is a very severe problem. It was very progressed. She got some dedicated food, and she got Previcox, which is a very expensive drug. And at the end, we had no choice but to take her into surgery. The recovery time was horrible. We spent tons of money, and I think we went to the vet like 18 times. Now, the reason for all of that is late detection. As you may know, dogs are wild animals by origin. They don't tend to show weakness. And I'll release Anna right now. Go. Okay, they don't tend to show weakness. And uh, moreover, they, they, they don't even talk. So uh, you don't really know what's going on with them. And unlike a child, which tells you, my ears hurt and I have a, a stomach ache, Dogs just don't say anything. If they would, they'd probably say something like that. By the way, bitch is a pregnant dog, so I'm not offensive to anybody. But we'd wish they'd say, take me to the vet. My hips hurt, right? They don't. Well, what is Augie? Augie is a company that challenges that statement. We say dogs can talk. It's just us that don't listen to them. And it's not that we're not attentive. I'm very attentive to Anna. But it's a very, very complex language. They don't talk in words, of course. It's very subtle. And you need an enabler to understand it. Now, the scientific premise behind all this project is that in dogs, by the way, in cats as well, there are direct links between medical conditions and their movement patterns. So if you can find and detect the movement patterns, you can know a lot about their medical conditions, and you can see a list here that shows you the amount of medical conditions that have detectable patterns. This is Oggy. Oggy understands dog language with a combination of an on-color, non-invasive, of course, chip, an application, and supporting algorithms. We can tell you what's wrong with your dog in an early stage and let you take care of him the best way you can. I'll show you a little bit about the app. You can see the list of dogs I have here. This is Anna, by the way, and this is her as well. You can see the three categories we uh, 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 alert people on, which are health, fitness, and nutrition. I'll talk about it a little bit later, but here you can see an uh, alert on, uh, I think it's, yes, it's health. So we found out there are signs of ear infection. You get a short explanation, and you can see other users who solved that same problem previously and wrote testimonials about it, about how they solved it. You can learn from them. And the same way you can see alerts about bloatness, about not walking enough, and so on and so on. And it has a medical history inside the app. And you, we, we know a lot of data from the Augie uh, device that shows in the app. Now, the three categories, I'll dive into it for a second. Smart detection is, of course, identifying the sicknesses that Anna's suffering from and then letting you take early care of Anna. Of course, not spending a lot of money later on and Anna not suffering. In smart nutrition, we identify the eating and drinking patterns. We can identify the chewing pattern. So what we can do is tell you if your dog is eating too much, too little. If your dog is drinking too much, which is a sign of diabetes, of course. Not drinking enough, which is a sign of many other problems eating too fast, and so on. And in fitness, we can tell you things that you can do something with. You should mo walk more with your dog, 15 minutes more in your morning walks, let's say. Your dog is doing forbidden movements regarding his breed or his age. Let's say Anna shouldn't climb stairs because she has a sensitive hip. It's something in, in Labradors and Golden Retrievers. And this is the device itself. It's very small. It does very simple things in a very complicated way. It records data and it sends it back to the cloud and then analyzed, you get it back to your app. Let's jump through to the market for a second. A huge market, $90 billion worldwide. Half of it is dogs. It's 
three major segments are supplies and over-the-counter medicine, which rises a lot lately, veterinary care and food. We attend to those three elements. The market is right now really booming. It's, first of all, it's recession-proof. People would rather spend money on their dogs than on themselves. And you can see it's rising in a very steady rate in several countries, very high, like Brazil, like India, like Australia, and so on. Our three advantages in that, in that market are, first of all, one-year battery, while our competition has seven to 10 days between recharging. It, with Augie, you just put it on and forget about it for a year. Second of all, a very high algorithm accuracy. And third, a very, very low bill of materials, so we can offer companies that work with us very creative and maybe some innovative marketing uh, uh, models. And these companies are divided, again, into three. Animal healthcare companies, which provide the solutions to the problem that we detect. Pet food companies, which want to shift people to high-end food, which want to take an active role in their dog's wellness, in their client's wellness, and so on. And of course, pet insurance companies, which want to lower the reimbursements people receive, and of course, try to determine a personalized premium per each dog by the way he's treated and taken care of. A few words about the team. Me, of course, Dr. Ido Dayan on the algorithms. I feel like a band. Ken Tettelman, the CEO. Yoni Peros, our veterinarian. Dr. Benny Zevi, the chairman. Orit Gadish and Tamar Geller on the advisory board. And of course, Anna. And I want to conclude by saying thank you to Anna, which is right here. Uh, thank you. First of all, she was here from 7 o'clock this morning, and she's like going to sleep in a minute. But she wore some very itchy, heavy, wires sticking out of them, collars, prototypes of Oggy, of course, like many other dogs. And I want to return the favor and give her some healthy and happy life in the future. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, marketing question. Um, so. Marketing question. Yeah. At what stage are you are right now and, and uh, starting to sell the product? And how do you plan to do marketing and get to these three type of uh, segments you've mentioned? I can tell you that we're after the, our, let's say, third pilot. First one was very initial, but third pilot, right now we identify a lot of things at the rate I've shown you. The device, of course, by the way, you can see it on Anna, works perfectly. And we've, we are on the verge of signing uh, a partnership deal with one of the names you saw there, I won't say who, but uh, to distribute and partner. Of course, they have many benefits from it, which are more than just you know selling the device itself. Uh, so we'll will be there in a week or two, so. Can, can you elaborate a little bit about the proof of that it's working? Because yes. different dog, have different behavior. Yes, for, first of all. 25, so what is proven and what is research and okay. what is theory? The, the initial uh, the, the, the link I've shown you there is, is something which was proven, I think, in the last 10 years or 15 years. No, no, I'm taking in your company with dogs, not in theory. Sorry? In real life, with your device, with oh, dog. we've put the device on, I think right, right now we're, we're, we're at more than 200 dogs. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are feeding the algorithms with a lot of data. Now the algorithms are machine learning, so the more data they get, the, the more accurate they are. I, I do agree that at the edges of, of weight class and age class, the algorithm can be less accurate than 97% but it's just a matter of time and the amount of data that which will be received by these kinds of dogs and will improve there too. So, so again, how many patterns have you actually resolved? Right now we're identifying eight patterns and one sickness, which is ear infection. So give In us an example of a pattern. The, the, the simplest example is ear infections, which we identify. Infections manifests in First of all, rapid head shaking, which is not similar to the regular head shakes that dogs have. It's a little bit different. You can see in the graphs. Uh, second of all, head tilting. 
and walking not in a very straight line. And it, it's very complicated, but from there you can see. It's accelerator and some sort of connectivity. The, our, the whole premise of this, not the scientific one, but the, 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 the tech premise is what, what we've decided is to keep the, sim the simple and, 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 and cheap as possible so we can work with the big guys and the big players. And, uh, and I, uh, uh, there's only an accelerometer inside. And of course, a couple of other things I can't really elaborate, but uh, it, it's, it, that's what brings us to the, the, the $5 bill of materials.